Jersey Sports Zone's high school wrestling coverage is being brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. A capacity crowd in Kingston, Pennsylvania, on the campus of Wyoming Seminary. Number one versus number two in the country. Blair Academy in hostile territory in PA. Last year, the Bucks won 32-26 at home to finish number one in the nation. Sam won the opener at 126, then at 132. Luke Lilladal ranked number one in the country at 126, bumping up a weight. The Penn State commit taking on Beast of the East champ, Matt Lopes. We're tied at one in overtime. Lilladal with the angle pick, sets up the two point takedown and sudden victory. Luke Lilladal with a 3 1 triumph gives Wyoming Seminary a 6 0 lead. Blair gets on the board at 138. Bill Deckraker goes to the ultimate tiebreak with Matt Patello. This escape is the difference in a 2 1 win. It's 6 3 Sem through three matches. At 144, Logan Rosinski with a 1 0 lead in the third on Michael Trujillo. Rosinski, the single leg takedown, caps off a 3 0 win. The senior who wrestled his first two years at Wyoming Seminary beats his former school. We're tied 6 6 through four matches. Sam wins at 150, then a critical match at 157. Blair's Paul Ognesanti is tied with Vince Buzakis. 4-4 in the third. Ognesanti takes the lead with this two. With 106 to go, the senior committed to Penn has a 6-4 lead. 30 seconds to go now. Buzakis scores the reversal and the back points give him the lead. Vince Buzakis has won Fargo, Ironman, and Powerade. The number two ranked wrestler in America comes from behind to get a critical 8-6 win. It's now 12-6-7. At 165, Blair's William Hankel was most outstanding wrestler at Beast of the East. The Penn State commit gets the two here on the way to a 3-0 win over Chris Crawford. Sam would get a win at 175, so the Blue Knights are in front 15-9. An electrifying match at 190. Blair's Kale Milnick strikes early on Jake Daly. Milnick with an ear fall. Daly will get two back. Kale Milnick jumps out to a 5-2 lead early. The points came fast and furious. Daly wraps up both ankles. He takes the lead. We head to the third period. The Columbia commit has a 10-9 advantage with two minutes to go. Daly stayed in front the rest of the way. He had a total of six takedowns and a 15-13 decision. Another big close win for Sam. The Blue Knights get a forfeit at 215. They've got a commanding 24-9 lead. Blair rallies thanks to Ohio State commit Carter Neves at heavyweight. Neves with a pin at the 115 mark. This is the only bonus points of the duel. A huge six for Blair makes it 24-15. We make the turn at 106. Blair Academy's Vince Anello keeps the momentum going for the Bucks. Anello picks up his third takedown to build a 6-1 lead through two against Evan Aftowitz. The points kept coming in the third. Vince Anello comes through big for Blair with an 11-4 decision. The Bucks have a chance. With two matches to go, it's 24-18. Sam can clinch the match with one more win. At 113 pounds, the Blue Knights' Davis Motika has Blair's Mike Batista in danger in the second period. It's 6-1, Motika in front. Final 30 seconds, Batista turns the tide. The lateral drop has Motika on his back. Batista in mere seconds has tied this match at six. Blair has number one nationally ranked Leo DeLuca waiting in the wings at 120 in the final bout, but Motika would eliminate final match drama. This two in the third gives him the lead for good. He adds two more on the way to an 11-7 win as Davis Botica clinches it for Wyoming Seminary. The Blue Knights avenge last year's loss to Blair and solidifies its number one ranking in America. 27 to 21 is your final. 14 nationally ranked wrestlers were in the lineup and once again, Blair and Sam put on a tremendous match. Wyoming Seminary improves to nine and zero on the season. Reporting from Kingston, Pennsylvania, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.